I'm, I'm a filmmaker and not a software guy. For me, what was interesting for the very first moment was one characteristic, this localization, which I think it's, it's a fantastic feature. Yes, uh, we're trying to build a robot that will uh, orient itself in space based on the depth map received from the Project Tango library. This headset. So we basically put Tango in this dive headset and um, with these lenses we split the image to two and with this lens we are able to do an overlay of a 3D environment and uh, track the environment uh, where we are actually staying so we get the position from the Tango. So we really like the technology and what it promised. Uh, we were hoping to use the 3D scanner combined with the positioning system to develop a game that uh, gets you off the couch, gets you moving. So basically we can see any type of game working with this. You, you can move around, you don't use the mouse. Well, first off, we wanted to go big. We wanted to track a mountain bike course uh, and then map it inside, uh, indoors, with uh, an Oculus module and uh, some responsive bikes. Now we are used to having GPS all around the world, but what happens when we try to navigate indoors? Our app, um, it's uh, something like a portable uh, cinema uh, studio. Because in the Argentinian tango, the dance means being together, your awareness about the motion, about the environment, about uh, the couple. Having uh, an application that uh, takes a 3D image of a subject uh, brings certainly more content to what we would like to store. So. Uh, we all love to take pictures of uh, special moments, but uh, somehow uh, this approach uh, takes things uh, even further and uh, we get our memories uh, closer to reality.